this is the process uh, based upon the analysis of the video I have in the background here with the four operators collapsing a cage where one of the operators goes the wrong way around. This is actually operator number three here and then a stock man arrives and so forth. So we have all of this uh, already defined and over here in our process area. So now we want to make some changes and we want to quantify those changes. And to do that, we go to the summary here and I'm going to click on this savings option here. So when I do that, it brings up this little grid that I can move around anywhere I want for visibility purposes. Now the issue as we know here is this fellow here, this operator here, he walks the wrong way around so he's going to this guy here he's going to the right when he should in fact be going to the left everyone else is having to wait for him and you can see that being reflected right here in the process right so the filler is the guys waiting so operator one two and four are waiting for operator three to get to do his thing now what we can do is we can actually change these things and estimate what the effect of the changes is going to be so we're going to quantify the change here. So if I point at a particular activity, let's say the guy walking operator 3, and I hold the shift key down and click on the left button, it draws a line across here, highlighting this task. So we can see if this guy went to the left instead of to the right, it would, he would get there roughly the same time as everyone else. I can grab the little slider here and drag it down and line it up here and drop it. So I've just reduced that maybe a little too much here, so I move it back up right, to line up with the top here here when I move off of this now it shows that I've made a 6% reduction in my work content. The work content is the total amount of work we have. The cycle time is the longest item which is this one right here. You can see I'm hovering over there 44.979. That obviously didn't make any changes to that. However, so I've generated a saving here. I can generate more savings because this operator went to the left. These guys don't have to wait. So I can click on this and I can hit the uh, the delete key and it will remove it. I can click on this. I can hit the right mouse button and delete it again. All right, or just hit the delete key. It's entirely up to you. Now, as I'm deleting these activities, look at my saving going up here. I select here, hit the delete key again. And now I'm up to like 26% saving in my work content. But again, nothing in the cycle. I need to change the cycle. So since these operators finished earlier, the stock man could arrive earlier. So again, we do the shift click and it brings it up the little line here. We grab the handle over here and we slide it down to represent the uh, the top of this one. So making that change too, I'm reducing the wait time here. And when I move off of that, you can see I've now generated a 20% saving um, in the cycle time because I've reduced the total cycle of the job here. This just shows you how you can quantify the effect of changes when looking for process improvements.